Hey guys. Sorry about that. I'm a little cockeyed, but whatever. Oh yeah, it's been an interesting few days. I'm um, able to talk again. I didn't lose my front tooth, not yet. Still waiting on the Daru Canal, which I go in next Wednesday. Oh, today it's um, Friday, the 1st or 2nd of March. Anyway, um, so yeah, next week I go in and we'll see what happens. But luckily it's only 20 minutes away. I'm not driving all the way to Green Bay to get a checkup, basically. But, look, what the hell? I got my Bluetooth on my phone connected to the radio, so it seems to keep saying paired or unpaired or some shit. But um, we got our tax back, and so I'm out today doing a little shopping. Got to get some stuff for the house. Um, I'm looking for a new coffee table. Something that has storage in it. Jack, quiet down, honey. Jack's been really sick. He's had a really bad cold. A lot of uh, congestion and phlegm and everything. And I think I'm getting it now. So that's been fun. We actually had a really bad scare the other day. The first night he had it, or it really was noticeable was, um, well, I think it was like on Monday, or no, it was Sunday, and, um, we noticed, well, I noticed that he was wheezing really bad, and then it could, like, he was really struggling to pull air in, and, um, so, you know, being an asthmatic my entire life, I know what symptoms to watch for, you know, and everything, and so I was paying very close attention to his breathing, his heart rate, everything like that. But the next day, it got bad. Like, I thought it was bad Sunday. Well, Monday was really bad. Um, we had him on some just regular cough medicine, but it wasn't helping. I mean, and he doesn't know how to cough that stuff up and spit it out yet. So he's just dealing with it in his lungs. Um, about, I want to say about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, it got really bad. And I was on MTN gas. I had no money in my pocket, no money in the bank, nothing. Um, the, the emergency room was over a half an hour away. And I knew better than to take an emergency room because I knew all they'd do was put them on breathing treatment. But, um, so what I did was I threw a thing up on the local Facebook page asking if anybody had a nebulizer. And um, sure enough, a couple people answered. An hour later, I had a nebulizer with the fluid and with the albuterol. And um, immediately, I put him on it right away. And you know, half an hour later, he was like 95% better. You could still hear the the ickiness in his lungs, the phlegm in his lungs. But other than that, he was really doing a lot better he was breathing his heart rate slowed down it was terrifying I mean and I mean I've been in that situation multiple times where I didn't have an inhaler and um, I know what to do or what I what I'm capable of and not capable of and I know what to watch out for and with him it was just like times 10 it was so freaking scary I was afraid that he was just going to stop breathing, you know, or he was just going to pass out, something of that nature, and so I was, like, really, I, I was almost panicking, I was that scared, but I, luckily, I, you know, I got a good head on my shoulders, and Facebook was there, and it helped me, I'm telling you guys, it really saved Jack, um, so, this, the, one of the girls, that gave us the medicine um, she's got an asthmatic son and they got a new nebulizer so she gave me her old one and then her friend gave me the albuterol and uh, I know how to use them I've used them all my life 
so yeah he's it was it was scary and then the next day um we got our taxes and so i was able to go out and buy him some decongestion and some uh well i was gonna buy one of those steamers to help break up the fluid in his lungs and whatnot but the dollar store in town doesn't have a steamer yeah and uh but they said there's something that works better one of those wax candle warmers or wax warmers and you put a little bit of um that stuff you rub on his chest oh are they open shit yeah the stuff you rub on his chest uh and i i can't think of the name of it but anyway um you put that in the wax warmer and it will emit that odor and it'll really help him breathe better so I got that for him. What the hell is that called? I forget what it's called. Oh well. Anyway, I don't know where I am anymore. <laughs> a little back ass alley here. Um. So that night, he really he got a lot better in a hurry, and it, uh, the, the next day, you know, he was breathing. Um pretty much normal but he's still coughing and you know he's got snot running out of his face and all that but other than that he's okay but now I got a sore throat and now I'm coughing and I ran out of inhaler so I might end up on Jack's nebulizer I won't get an inhaler until probably next week I had an extra but I don't know where the hell it went it disappeared All right, well, I am, uh, didn't have any luck there at all. I thought that they might have a coffee table with storage, but nope, no luck. So, I am continuing to hunt here. But, um, yeah, it's weird. It's like the place, the antique store in my town, they are very negotiable. Um, this place I just went to, there's a bike sprocket, which is really cool looking, um, but it was $5. It's just a big sprocket, that's all it is. And I went and I was like, you know, would you take three for it? She's like, I'll take five. And I'm like, but isn't that the market price? She goes, yeah. And I'm like, eh, I don't know, I'd like to pay full price for stuff I'm just gonna cut up and weld on and whatever and she's like yeah I don't like to really go down on my price at all and I'm like so I I bought it but reluctantly I don't even know what I'm gonna use it for all right well it's now five to three and I've been to Three antique stores or stuff stores I don't know what you want to call them and no luck although I did buy this little guy right here I guess it's a collectible lighter but it was only two dollars you flip it up put butane in it and boom yeah so and I also got this Jack can I see that because the kids and all of us are big fans of um, How to Train Your Dragons, I found this guy, Toothless. <laughs> He's uh, probably my favorite. And it was only $5, so what the hell. Let the kids play with him. Maybe. I might put him up on a shelf or something. I don't know yet. I have a feeling that they're going to... If anything's going to be collectible, it's going to be How to Train Your Dragon and Marvel stuff. I like to just buy a bunch and leave them in the boxes and just, you know, 30 years down the road, sell them. Maybe I will. I haven't decided yet. I think it'd be a good plan because right now Infinity Universe is coming out. Um... Black Panther is coming out. I think all of those will be collectible. You know, because 
there's gonna be millions made, but there's also be millions destroyed too with all the children playing with them. And uh, you know, you get the ones that are the most expensive and the hardest to come by, and stuff them on a shelf somewhere and leave them there for a couple of decades. And you might have a retirement plan. Yeah, we gotta we gotta take medicine, honey. We got to. Go really quick and then we take a drink. <coughs> Open it up, see? That's why you need it. I know, you're spitting up all sorts of icky stuff, aren't you? Ready? Alright, here we go, really fast. Come on, put your hand down. Put your hand down. Here, here, let's do this. Sit on your hand. Come on. Sit down. Now open up. Now. One. Two. Come on. Take a drink. Alright, put it down. Let's go, right now. Please? You want a cookie? How about... Uh, what would you really like? A cookie? Okay, we gotta, you gotta take this first. Then no cookies. Put your hand down. Be a big boy. Be a big boy. Let's be a big boy. Come on, time to grind. Come on. That's why you need your medicine. Put your hands down. I'm gonna get mad. Don't cough on me. Cover your mouth. Yeah. Come on. Swallow. Swallow it. Head up. Take another drink. <sighs> Finally. Well, Jax got his medicine. Oh my god. Looks like pulling freaking teeth. Oh man. But anyway, alright. Um, been busy. Okay, so what have I been doing? Alright, well. I put this in just because the dogs were dragging mud through the kitchen. It was like a mud bog pit. All right, got that done. This was filling up with water, and I spent an, me and Amanda both spent an entire day out here with an axe, mind you, trying to find the drain so we wouldn't flood and found it. Ended up building a little water heater thing Ugh. wrapping one of these eaves trough heaters around the pole and that keeps it thawed out and now all the water drains down into here and so there won't be a flood let's see what else um two okay been kind of keeping myself lately uh, i didn't really want to do anything with anybody because all the pain i was in didn't want to look like a little bitch and cry and oh it was uh it was a mess um Got our taxes, spent a little money, got an air purifier, and also got a um, humidifier for the bedroom because it's absolutely the Sahara Desert throughout the night. It, it's like our throat is on fire when we wake up in the morning. It's so freaking bad. <clears throat> what we're doing with uh, upcoming, what are we doing? Well... Like I said, we got our tax money. So we're probably gonna be looking at replacing the carpet, which is about 180 square feet. So yeah, you sound like shit, Jack, really. No, no, no. Um, so we're looking at about 300, three, maybe 400 hours in carpet we need to get. We are gonna put in a new door frame, 
Um, probably reuse the door because if you look, this is our door frame. Somebody kicked it in before we lived here. Um, what else? Um, oh, chair. Chair went to shit. My chair is now out there. I replaced it with this chair, which is now going to be thrown out as well. Um, that chair is junk because, well, I, I got it from Ezzy's friend, or her friend's mom. Um, they said that they're just going to throw it out anyway. If we want it, we can have it. I sat in it for about 10 or 15 minutes and felt very comfortable. Brought it home. Was in it for about an hour, and I'm like, oh, no, you know, my back. Oh, my God. And I could barely move. Uh, so, we're throwing this one out, too. So, we're going to spend a little money. We need to get a new recliner. Or not new, but at least we need to get a recliner. And a couch. And a coffee table. The coffee table is what I was trying to replace today. Get down before you die. Um, we want something with storage, which I could probably do myself. I mean, I could probably cut these into, you know, cut slots out or whatever, and then put little hinges on it, and then put baskets underneath it or whatever, and he just hit me here with a ball. <laughs> or a, a bowl. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know, I mean, it's, it's possible. But it's so freaking long. It take our living room is not very big. Whoa. Stop throwing stuff. Whoa, Man. Okay, oh, four-wheeler broke. That's another fun thing. My, I, um, what happened the other day? Uh, oh, had to go get this chair. And so I needed to get the trailer. Got the trailer with the four-wheeler, but the trailer around the front, hooked up the trailer to the Nissan one, got the, uh, the chair, came back unloaded, hooked the trailer back up to the four-wheeler to go park the trailer in the back of the yard. Drove the four-wheeler around back here. Uh, for the trailer is behind the garage. And um, I went to go put it in reverse, the four-wheeler. And I, no matter what I did, it wouldn't go in reverse. I just, you know, I'd kick it down, kick it down. And then all of a sudden I felt like there was, I wasn't kicking anything. Like I wasn't touching a pedal or a shifter. I looked down and here my shifter was laying on the ground. So I took it off and I welded it up. I haven't put it back on yet, obviously. I think it'll hold. If not, they're like 40 bucks. It's no joke. They're not cheap. So that happened. As for everything else, not much else is going on. Um, got a root canal coming up. And, yeah. <laughs> um... Having a bit of an asthma problem today. Ran out of inhaler. I think I mentioned that. It's been stressful. Here's a nebulizer I ended up getting for Jack on Facebook that literally saved his life. Right here. I know it's a mess. Don't even look at it. But yeah, Jack wears this. And he actually doesn't need it. Um, I think he's done using it. The lady actually gave me a whole box of these, you know, butyrol, which actually will save me now. But yeah, so I got these, a bunch of them, which is like, you know, I'll tell you what happened. Uh, we had a problem with the kids' insurance. We never got any kind of notification. Get out of the fridge. Um... I took him in to get his chest x-rayed. And um, what do you want? Kool-Aid. You want Kool-Aid? You got Kool-Aid right here, honey. That's Kool-Aid. It's mommy's juice. It's mommy's juice. All right, all right, all right, all right. Sorry, guys. This is uh, hard to vlog and talk here at the same time with the kids. Um... Long story short, I get in there and they're, they're telling me, oh, there's nothing they can do because the kids are uninsured. we are like, there's no freaking way. We would never allow this to happen. And they said that they've been trying to send it through and it won't go through. And so I call the number, sure enough. I don't know what happened, but their insurance lapsed. And so uh the doctor didn't give him a breathing treatment and this is keep in mind 
the day before he gets really bad. Or actually, it was no, it was that evening he got really bad. Um, he, uh, the doctor said, you know, well, he'll give him a prescription to get a nebulizer and some albuterol. Like, okay, cool. But then it occurred to me, like, okay, if they don't have insurance, then how are we going to get this prescription filled? I don't have any money. Uh, so we go to the, um, what do you call that? Go, we go to the pharmacist. Sure enough, we can't get it because it would be like $200. So that's what led me to looking for the nebulizer online, which I know isn't exactly the most legal thing in the world, but you know what, I'm going to do whatever it takes to save my child. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, but that's uh, the long and the short of it really. Just a pain in the butt. Just a complete fucking nightmare. And, but he's doing a lot better. Are you feeling better, honey? Jack? Are you feeling better? Yeah? Were you really sick? Yeah. Was it hard to breathe? Look at me. Was it hard to yeah. breathe? Stop yeah. it. Put that down. Was it hard to breathe, honey? Yeah. Yeah, your little heart was just erasing, yeah. wasn't it? <gasps> Big scary Jack with a runny nose. That's disgusting. <laughs> what are you, you doing? You gonna eat your sister? <laughs> what are you doing? No, don't put your... Get a little don't wipe your nose on my pants. Yes, wipe your nose on your pants. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. So I guess that's about it. I'm gonna let you guys go. Oh, one other thing. Just wait. Let Daddy finish, and then we'll talk about it. Okay. I no longer have Adobe Premiere or Adobe um, Photoshop. My subscription expired, and you can't just outright buy the program anymore. So my videos are gonna be lacking. I'm back down to using Windows Movie Maker if it even works. Um, I'm praying that this will work tonight. I don't know. I've had more problems with that stupid piece of shit media um, or uh, Movie Maker thing. Uh, I'm, I'm so used to using Adobe Premiere. So this is going to suck. It really is. But I can't even open up old project files because it just keeps saying your subscription has expired. And then to add to that, the subscription for one program for one year is $275. And that's not even keeping the program. That's only to be allowed to use it for one year. Freaking nightmare, guys. I can't even tell you. So, you're going to have to deal with the quality of the videos being a little bit something to be desired. So... Uh, I apologize up front for that one. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm out of here. I will catch up with you guys soon.